Hi everyone, now I'm actually sitting down uh, this wee pattern here uh, basically it's very similar to an Adams version that I did quite a while ago uh, it's just a comparison but with uh, the hackle points or hackle tips as, uh, as wings so I'm combining both the, the, the deer hair and the wing tips uh, for a nice colour blend and it's a great fly I've got two or three patterns, this one, this is one of the originals that I tied, uh, this is slightly darker so I'm going to be tying this one uh, there's a Larkin grey, I'll to show you this quick one it's another one of the Larkin greys, just about, it's very light dressing it's a great wee pattern it's a great style so I'm tying them so I thought maybe I'd like to see this pattern uh, as well, I mean uh, the dubbing this is very similar to the dubbing I use but this one's from Fooling Mill uh, I've been using it some nymphs uh, but it's got a lovely texture, it's very ideal for dry flies I feel so anyway Hook choice is uh, this one. This is a fully mill hook. It's a black nickel, size 16. Thread I'm going to be using is a light Cahill. It's a nice light colour. Use either yellow with this one. Now you start at the eye. Just work your way down halfway along the shank and remove the waist. And then work your way back up to midway. It's the middle of the... Just to give you the area for the... Uh, for the wing. Now... Uh, I have hen, quite a few hen necks, I've got grizzles and such like, it's these very small feathers at the bottom that I'm, I've been basically using up uh, for the wings, so I've got two here, uh, just a good way of using them up, they're, they're good and small flies, but at the same time they're ideal for, you could use cock hackles if you want, and I do use cock hackles, but hen hackles are got a nice soft fibre and nice shapes, so they're worth using for the wings so basically line up the ends, you want them to naturally curve away from one another you're looking for a wing length, at least the, sh the shank just tie that forward, just a pinch and loop just on the top, I do three turns I'm just checking to see what it's like check the length before we go any further so I'm happy with that, so then basically I trim away the waist at the back slight angled cut now, make sure you wax your thread, you want a good base of thread down I'm going to put some, some deer hair at the back You could slip some in at the front, now sometimes I've done that, just put a wee drop in at the front But with this fly and this size, there's enough at the back Now this is uh, coastal deer hair uh, It's just a nice short deer hair, or comparison hair as some would call it uh, For tying these smaller flies now they cut off off. Basically, this would normally form the wing, and it itself is fine. I just like the extra using up these tips because it just blends nice with the with the deer hair. I'm just removing any of the fluff or broken ends. Now I'm going to put it into the stacker tips first. Quite simple tips first into the stacker. Tap on your desk. Line them up. Remove it from the stacker. Now we're going to tie it forward to the eye, just the same as we've done with the tips of the hackles. So we're just going to just slightly, or we could be around about the same length. It does separate. Now we want to do it, just make sure you wax your thread before you, as I say, tie it on. Just come around with a couple of turns, it's quite loose, and then tighten up. It'll flare the fibres. And then what I do is just Ignore the wing here, just work my way down a wee bit Before we go any further I'm just going to encourage any fibres that may want to go forward Just especially the good stuff, take it back Screw it in with good tight turns, working your way down Now I'm actually going to break away the deer here You'll see it's starting to break as I go down And it helps to give you a taper as well because it's actually breaking as I do that It gives you a really neat cut as you can see there, I've got one long, longish fibre anyway, if you call it that and uh, it just, you've got to make sure you wax your thread when you do that if you don't want to do it, just trim it away now I'm using a speckled, a light speckled Cock de Leon, this one here is from Hairline so, four to six fibres, just bring them 90 degrees from the feather tips will line up, turn them away you're looking for tail length round about 
I would say the hook length, just wind on down to the bend of the hook, just before it goes round the bend, come underneath with a turn, and then pull towards the eye, and a turn on top, and what that should do, as you can see, just slightly flares the fibres, and then we can trim away the excess of the waste. Just go in and trim away. That's fine, we can tidy all that up when we come up with our dubbing. Now the dubbing, as I say, is this one, I'm going to show you the packet. Uh, it's just a new dubbing for full mill. Uh, there we are. I just like it, it's just a nice, I like that. I always like this type of dubbing on a few nymphs, and I like it on even this. It's called that, they've actually called it, this is Dark Hairs Year uh, UV. It's actually for nymphs, as you can see, you know, nymph flash dub. Uh, it's a serious dubbing they do, but as I say, I'm quite happy to use it in my dry flies as well. Uh, it's just, the texture looks great, and I like the colour, so... Lightly dub it onto your thread, it's easy to dub, just lightly dub it on. And then, there was this work up, just tighten it as we need to, get a nice taper in your fly, stretch it out when you, as well, just pull it so that it basically stretches the dubbing out, it gives you a nice blend, keeps the body shape, without being overdressed. Comparandum type flies have a nice, have a, a steep type taper, but it's nice like that. Now at this point here, just checking to see where I am, just making sure the dubbing's right up to the wing. And then what we want to do is basically spread the fibre and lift the wings up, so we just press it, make it sort of come into like a fan-like shape, and then we take our dub into the front. Now I want to read up more, but before we do any, f just check, before we go any further, I actually lost some of my dub in there, take this out, because I'm going to put a wee touch more on, I'm just checking it, it's actually sitting nice, that's ideal. You could just finish off with that, but I just want to retouch more of the head area. Slightly dub it on. I'm actually in, practically in line with the eye. Or just about a head length away from it, so... Uh, I like to blind, I bring the dubbing up. Just stretching it out, just check the shape. It's fine, and then working through. Any fibre going forward, draw it, stroke it back with your fingers, and then three or four turns in front. And then we want to quick finish, just draw the varnish along the thread from the head area down, about maybe just over a centimetre or so, and then quick finish. And that there is that sit down. Oops. Just tighten up. Trim away. We quick look at the, the way it's sitting. I say I love the blend of the. I like to see the wee wing tips. You can see them all the way. You see them in the water. Just adds to the fly. Just bring these tips, these fibers back up. Now if you if you want, you can. I mean, that's actually quite quite tight, quite nice. Uh, if you want it slightly tighter, what you can do is just trim it. will do that. So you get a nice taper. Watch your wing. And there we go. And that's your hackle tip. Comparadon, really. Uh, it's very mouse like colours, I call it. And uh, these are colours that work. They work all season. Uh, you can't go far wrong with a colour combination. And as I said, I was quite fancied this new dubbing on this pattern. So. <laughs> Blow loose fibres. There we go. So anyway, there we are. Nice wee dry flies. I say try them different colours. I've got the more of the the sort of hairs ear type colour. Uh, larkin grey, as I call it, cream and yellow. Uh, great colour. Uh, quite light. I've used. I've reduced the length. Taking the grey out, the actual. It's actually the same hair. Uh, I want it slightly lighter, it's shorter, but it's a lighter dressing, so again, you just mess about, you'll get a nice fly. Uh, and there we are, so I hope you enjoyed that, and again, 
if you enjoy the videos and you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, it helps if it helps the channel. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's a good sign that things are working away. Uh, we've got lots more views nowadays. The views are really going up. So obviously uh, a lot of people are watching the videos now. So again, as I say, I hope you enjoyed this one and until next time.